Well, 40, welcome back. Celebrating 35 years at Carter Mario. We are joined live by Carter Mario's founder and president, Carter Mario himself and attorney Alex Mario. Thank you guys so much for being here and congratulations to you. Thank you. Thank you. Carter, let's talk a bit about where this all started. Well, it started in Milford, where I'm from, uh, Connecticut, raised uh, one office, one room building in Milford in 1989 which coincidentally, it, it started two weeks after Alex was born. Wow, so, and everyone knows my age. <laughs> kind of that did, looks fabulous. Kind of here, but 35 years ago, sharing one room in Milford. Wow, and now you've grown to eight, eight offices. Eight offices recently opened up in Springfield and another office in Stanford. And how has your mission, if at all, changed over the years, or is it really exactly where you started? Yeah, so back in 1989, I looked at the industry, and the biggest defect, the biggest service defect in the legal industry was the lack of timely communication between the client and the, the law firm. So uh, very early on, I said, uh, I'm going to be different. The differentiator is going to be, if you call me, I'm going to call you back the same day, and if I don't, I'm going to buy you lunch. <laughs> now, I couldn't afford to buy anybody lunch because I didn't have any money, so I... I you returned, called them back. I returned the calls, yeah. <laughs> so we continue to do that uh, to this day, which is really the basis of our firm in terms of how it's different is the, is the client-centric culture that we have. And Alex, you, of course, followed in your dad's footsteps. Who yeah. thought two weeks uh, after you were born that you'd end up here? Um, why did you decide to do that, and how has that been for you? Yeah, I think growing up, just seeing my dad do it, seeing how much pride he had in, in helping people, changing their lives. I mean, these are people that have gotten in a situation at no fault of their own, and it sucks, to be quite frank. Um, so to help pull somebody out of that kind of dark hole made me really proud about what he did, and I wanted to do something like that. Um, and I've really enjoyed doing that. So it's, he's built an amazing environment, and I'm just really happy to be part of it. And Carter, when it comes to your clients, the way that you interact with them, is that what led you to grow in the way that you have? Because, I mean, you have expanded year after year, and I would imagine a lot of that has to do with the way that you treat your clients, approach their cases. Uh, absolutely. So, obviously, uh, like most businesses, we have a dedicated budget that we spend on advertising. I said, but, but actually, uh, the majority of our uh, opportunities and cases and clients come from non-paid advertising word of mouth so we have basically a very broad um, uh, client advocacy base we have brand advocates over the last 35 years we've developed quite a following so <clears throat> and it's because we've done one thing well for 35 years it's understand that clients have a choice and we return calls and we know what we need to know about you and um, people respect that so very early on our, our, our culture requires people to be treated to treat people the way they ought to be treated. And uh, I think that's an easy uh, mindset to have and we, we live by it. So I think that's really the most compelling, driving, continuous force that we've had. We just do what we say we're going to do. Yeah, and celebrating 35 years, of course, it's a great time uh, celebrating a milestone to look ahead. Alex, what do you hope and see for, for you, for the firm moving forward? To keep doing what we're doing. Keep, you know, my brother and I have both joined the firm. My husband works there as an attorney also. Um, we want to keep being able to expand and help more and more people. Um, and I think that, like my dad said, we have almost 50% of our clients coming back are from word of mouth or returning clients. Um, so we're, we're doing it right. We want to help people. And I think it's important that we really understand it's not just about getting compensation. It's about being heard. And mm -hmm. it's about having someone that you truly trust. Because if we don't really know our clients, how can we advocate, like advocate really well for them? Um, and so I think that that's something that we understand. And it's something that we hope to continue to do. Well, congratulations to you both. And again, we, of course, want to mention those two new offices, Springfield, Stanford. Yes. You'll have all the details on your website, cartermario.com. If you guys at home would like to learn more, we'll also have the details on our website, wtnh.com. We'll be right back.